אלא הייתה בשלב מסוים במאה ה-19 הגירה מכורדיסטן לגרוזיה, לג'ורג'ה And these were called the Lukhluk. These were the ones that moved from Kurdistan to uh, Georgia. Is it possible that this is a group of Kurds who came through Georgia? Is there anyone else there who wishes to raise a question? Please. This is very, very active faction around there. So I have a question. If there's anything um, like studies or research until 1860, is there anything written about the Georgian Jewry in Jerusalem? We all know that 1864 was the year that they came from. We have a few publications about this, various things written, but is there anything research like before that? What happened? Was there a Kurdish uh, neighborhood there in the seven, in the Middle Ages, that is, 16th, 17th century? That's my question. OK, anyone else, please? We need the mic without it. We cannot interpret. I'm sorry. Okay, and I will just add to your question that in Paris, too, the immigrants from Bukhara were saved because they pleaded to the Nazi regime that they are considered a special sect called Jews, Jews according to religion, not according to race. And this was the case in Berlin. It was approved, and they were not dispatched to Auschwitz. So thank you very much for the questions. Two minutes and one minute, respectively. Can you hear me? So indeed, I approved, or actually left a few things to the end, because we always get questions concerning your question, Tamar. One of the things that I saw in the Georgian neighborhood is the way they actually emulate or copy traditions. You know, it was exactly the Georgian community, community uh, from uh, Kutaisi, and they sort of bring it into their own church. Georgian neighborhood, like the structure of the synagogues, etc. Multiplicity of synagogues, the structure of uh, oligarchs and the poor around him, and a few more models that repeat themselves. Uh, it's true that they are distributed in many neighborhoods in Jerusalem, and some of my interviewees were found in Nachlaot and among the Ladino-speaking uh, communities. However, there, and by the way, one of the interesting points concerning the Georgian community is that they sort of spread around, they distribute, they intermarry with other sects, they have no problem at all with that, and unless we maintain their tradition, they will be indeed uh, assimilated to the extent that they would disappear, and that, uh, as you say, is a topic for another uh, study. So first of all, we need to uh, save the, uh, the, the neighbors that we discussed, there's so many signs on the walls, and it's something that we truly need to uh, tell to others. Concerning the uh, topic of Kurds and Georgians, well, I truly have not found this context of migration. All I saw that Grayevsky calls the uh, people there Kurds, and I believe that you can trust him. He is a very knowledgeable man, but it is indeed a question concerning all other places. We talk about Georgians. There are a few Arabic uh, documents. Georgistan and Kurdistan in Arabic it depends on, you know, the replacement 
out of one letter only. So it really depends on the way this word uh, was spelt and how the mistake sort of evolved. Before 1860, I, well, I haven't studied that period. I only looked at the neighborhood from the 80s and 80s of that century until its neglect in 1930. So obviously there are other researchers who dealt with earlier periods of time, of course, but I mostly focused on what takes place uh, in a group of people in a pioneering uh, neighborhood outside of the old city of Jerusalem. Thank you very much. <coughs> Uh, according to uh, um, Jewish views or Jewish perspective, we view everyone as Jew. Uh, the Nazis, however, viewed uh, those uh, mosaic, as it were, people, not as people who came from a different race that has to be prohibited. In other words, the Karai uh, were recognized as mosaics because they were separate and distinct from the uh, rabbinical Jews, it's as if they were exempted from their faith. Most other groups tried to argue that they were only believers. But they did not come of the same race, and ultimately they failed. Now, within this particular group in Paris, and there are many others, by the way, we can call them Georgian rabbinical Jews, and you have others that are Bukharin, or those who came from Uzbekistan, who are Jews for every intent and purpose. You have the Jugakis, and we can call them the tribe that came from well, the Mosaic tribe. You have the Chola, and they were the Maranos, just like the Masha. So all those three groups resided together, and you can distinguish between you could distinguish between them. We could do that. There was a danger lurking, and everyone tried to uh, find their way out under this umbrella of mosaics. And the Karai, at, and that's pretty surprising, because if you, um, if anyone was taking any interest in them, uh, they would find that they are truly Jewish, and they believe in the Bible, and they are related to the Jewish people, even though they were uh, inside rivals, and they made up for a very large group of people that were part and parcel of the Jewish people. I just wanted to comment further about the Georgian. We do have a few relics of Kurds uh, who came to Jerusalem before that 19th century. However, Georgians, I do not know of any, Yaakov Lazar did not mention at all about that, and I believe it's a matter of uh, research. We have to know what happened here, because relatively speaking, the attitude was positive towards Jews here. There was no apparent reason for them to flee. So uh, immigration and visits were actually given to only singular people. They didn't come as the whole communities. And according to what we found there, you cannot see them in Safed, for example. Can I ask a question? No, 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 I'm sorry, you already had your chance. I'm sorry, sir. We have uh, restricted our time. We've actually corrected the gap that uh, was created in the morning. So I'd like to hear two more comments and, and give it to two people uh, who asked. Professor Dan Shapira, please. Uh, we do need the microphone. I'm sorry, but we cannot interpret if you don't hear the uh, speaker speaking to the mic. Sorry about that.
יוצא מן הכלל, תודה רבה. ועורך דין דוד. Thank you very much, and advocate ידיד, please be short. Again, we do not... יונתן, אי אפשר להביא לו מיקרופון בבקשה? יונתן.